Hi everybody, Francois here, SoCal Marine, sunny California. I'm going to quickly run you guys through the steps on how to fix a cracked engine block. Uh, this applies to pretty much any kind of engine block. I'm demonstrating this on a little inline four and uh, they love to crack along this ridge over here if uh, they aren't winterized and it's actually very doable. The first thing you want to do is um, just take the manifold off. You can leave the head on. Uh, the manifold will just have maybe five or six bolts along the top and just take off whatever's connected to it. The carburetor, you can leave all of that on. Just undo the, the manifold and the throttle cable and whatever. You'll have the little hose coming up over here. All right, once you have access to this, it's real easy. Depending how bad it is, uh, sometimes you'll just see a thin little crack over here and you just want to come in you can either put a little uh, wire wheel on a drill and just clean the rust away so that you can see what's going on once you've identified where the crack is just get a dremel buy some of these little carbide bits just make sure you get the 1 8 shank that fits in a dremel uh, you could probably use a drill as well and uh, what you want to do is just grind a little v all along the crack that you can see it doesn't really matter if it's pretty or not um, you just want to pretty much clean it up to bare metal along the crack. Um, if you remember to winterize from here on forward, you wouldn't really need to drill a hole at the end of the crack. But you can if you want to. You can also just drill a tiny hole at the end of the crack, rarely at the end. Just a thin little hole straight in. Don't go through into the cylinder, but that's optional. If you're not comfortable with that, just ignore that. Just dremel along the crack. And then just mix up some epoxy. Now the putty type is easier. Um, sorry to be a little odd, but I sometimes spit on my fingers. That just kind of uh, makes it a little easier to handle and doesn't stick on your fingers. It does have a tendency to want to pull out, but you can you can definitely um, wetten up the uh, the epoxies. You know the steel epoxy, and just push it in that gap all along, and just make sure it's smoothed down. That's why you V it, so that there's room for that epoxy to get in there and grab. Option two is the, the two-part epoxy that you just mix, you know, the little squishy types or the tubes. Just mix it real well. It is a little messier. It's going to have a little bit of a tendency to drip. Just get the five-minute one. Don't get the three-day one. Get the five-minute epoxy. And before you do all that, just blow your uh, V groove out with some brake cleaner, carburetor spray. Just give it a nice uh, quick zing with that. And then let the epoxy sit overnight and you're good it's that easy i have done this repair many many times on boats that ran another 15 years um, just make sure your oil's clean if you had a tremendous block crack situation and it was ran, it was ran then uh, the water and the oil would mix and you would have milkshake on the dipstick just pull the dipstick if the oil's clean it doesn't matter how bad this looks trust me just clean it up and then just get a new exhaust gasket bolt it all back together and uh, just check it and literally it'll cost you 20 bucks including the gasket probably so thanks for watching and uh, enjoy